Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel with my first, this is my first Faria YouTube video and my first video is going to talk a little bit about win rates in ladder and which decks have a more consistent win rate versus others. The deck you see on the screen right now is a, is a yellow rush deck, and uh, I actually hate playing with yellow rush. I hate playing against yellow rush. I think one of the things that makes it so consistent a ladder is that it's easy to play. It doesn't require any skill, hardly any skill. You can just play lands down the middle and play your whole hand most of the time. Uh, there's not a lot of variety in, in uh, good lines. Uh, that you can take. Sometimes you can take a little bit better line than others. But what makes Yellow Rush so good is that it's uh, it's it's just really consistent. And the only the only time you're really gonna have a hard matchup with it is if they are playing uh, green green taunt, green big taunt, pretty much. Uh, sometimes you might have a problem if with like I was seeing Lou play another deck that was had um, Deathwalkers and Nats, which seemed to be pretty good against Yellow Rush. Uh, but pretty much most of the time, uh, this deck is gonna have a big advantage compared to other decks. Oh, he's not. He's he must he must have an elemental as well. That's really freaking frustrating. Oh wow, he didn't. So he's giving me the the. Two lands from his face spot. That's 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 another reason Yellow Rush is so consistent. Is um, basically uh, a lot of people don't know how to play against Yellow Rush, like this guy, for example, and they uh, they make you they make you win more, basically. So what I'm going to do this turn is play the Sagittarius with the Salmon as well. Get that extra Feria. Um, I can wait next turn to play the other Salmon. Oh, there's a prayer. Wish I had that turn before. Probably should have blocked the well spot here, but it's not terrible what he did. I think I want to double land into this into this spot here, so I can have a, uh, another land two spot spaces away from him. Even though, see, the living well is going to be really really freaking annoying. I can just flash them in for the cycle. See, this, this is what I'm saying. Yellow Rush, if I wasn't playing against the guy with big taunts right now, I'd be able to hit him, play Kaleem's Prayer, and then just crush him probably. But now that I am, it's going to be a little tougher. I don't have a lot of uh, hard removal. If I had Crystal Flowers in here, it'd be nicer against Green of Taunts. But the deck I made right here is really consistent. It's got consistent creature draw that will consistently uh what the fuck who plays freedom fighter seriously it's consistently win you the game um unless they're playing freedom fighter of course for some reason that you can't really fathom so i can soldier in that flash it on this one but my issue now is yeah, I could. I can at most play a four-four Crusader here. I could. Uh, I could play the Monk to try and get his will over here, but it's not going to do anything. I need to make land over here. If I had more uh, land ramp than like air elemental, then it would be a little better against this deck because I could draw his will over. But yeah, see, I, I don't have any. I don't think I have any hard removal answers. I don't have a last name or anything for this. So there's 
literally nothing I can do against big big taunt creatures with this deck. So maybe on the surface this doesn't, this doesn't look like Yellow Rush can get you up rankings fastest, but trust me, unless every single deck you're playing or over 50% of the decks you're playing are big taunt, big green taunt decks, uh, Yellow Rush is actually going to win you more games. And I'll talk about some of the other ducks in ladder as well and why uh, they don't have quite a big of a win rate as Yellow Rush. But depending on what, what the meta is and what decks people are mostly playing uh, and also what rank you are, which also determines what decks people are mostly playing, some of the other ones can be better too. So, yeah, there's, there's I can just surrender at this point. There's nothing I can do to kill this Living Willow. I got three prayers. There's nothing, so... Um, okay. So, blue... I, I actually got to god rank with blue-red control, and then I leveled 120 points in, yellow, in god rank with yellow rush. I leveled from 200 and... Uh, 220 to 90 in two and a half hours with Yellow Rush. Just game after game after game. I don't think I've played any or not many enemy decks had uh, big green creatures with taunts. Also, Skyward Swordfish is pretty rough against Yellow Rush, not just mono green. It's a 4 7 flying taunt dash 1. Or five Faria, five special land requirement, uh, two of which have to be a desert and a forest. So blurred control is another one that I. This is how I leveled to God last season fairly quickly. It was with blue red control. Actually, the blurred control I have now is a little different than the one I used to get it because I made it a little different for the tournament for the monthly cup coming up. So there would be there would be uh, flame bursts in here instead of fire bombs. That's the main difference. There used to be three gem shells in here. Um, there were a lot less blue cards in here and more more red. But uh, this should be a little better for the tournament, I would think. Playing first, we can keep the water alley at least. Um, so we're gonna get three Faria. First turn, second turn we can play Water Ellie, and then we'll have two Faria. Third turn we'll collect, and probably have six Faria. Um, I don't think we need the Archon yet, necessarily. The Commander could could end up being better. If, they was, if they're red and they have a Cypher F, then the Commander's not better, but... Uh, it's it's alright. So basically we're going to go Mountain to the right or the left, and... Play Water Alley and play Collect Spot. Oh, I need to change my deck list on the. Uh, I already did, okay. This is, uh, if you enjoy decks that take a little more skill than Yellow Rush, this is a fun one. However, however, uh, it's it's weaker to Yellow Rush, except for this draw I got. It's actually this draw I got was actually pretty good against Yellow Rush. A lot of times it's weaker though, and um, Yellow Rush is better against Yellow Rush, funnily enough, than this deck. But I got a I got a pretty good draw here. Do I have? Oh, I've. I also have to take out Ground Shakers on my other deck. I keep I keep like. Messing up and combining decks. I, there's one card I'm um, keeping in the tournament here that I can't really play with. Let's get down to business and defeat the Huns. Yeah, this is unfortunate. If I drew a fireball, I'd be okay, probably. I 
I blocked, I lane blocked him, but I, I think he's probably going to put a desert on this well spot so he can have a well spot. I did not get soul drain anyway. Wow, he didn't. That's really lucky of me. I need to draw a, uh, this cheap creature pretty bad here. This deck is pretty weak against Yellow Rush because of all the high cost stuff. Like, if I had a hand of cheap cards right now, I'd probably have to chance, but I'm t pretty dependent on the top deck right now, which I didn't get, so. Uh, I can Firestorm next turn, which is nice, but at that point, he may already win. So. Yeah, because the demon. Firestorm doesn't quite kill the demon, so I'm a little, I'm a little behind there. Maybe I should put in, like, a... Falcon Dives or something to make this deck a little have a few, have a few cheaper cards. Yeah, it's just uh, taking five next turn and then basically just lose the next turn. But it, I could, yeah, this is. So this deck is really inconsistent against uh, fast decks like rush decks, but it's really really good against. It's best against uh, Soul Eater, uh, Green Hell Sack decks, yeah, because I have three Frogifies, but it's it's weak against Yellow Rush. It's actually okay against the Green Rush because you can Frogify their buffed creatures sometimes if you draw it in time. Two Ground Shakers, so I can keep one and the other one. But I have to think of something else to put in, like Falcon Dive or uh, something like that. Derelict Tower. A third Fireball, maybe. Like a, a, a cheap, low cost creature would be nice. Uh, maybe a red one, maybe another blue one. I still, I could put in another Battle Toads actually. It seems fine. I mean, Firebomb is a good target for Gem Shell, and pretty much every other card is a decent target for Gem Shell too. Give me Commander. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards that are seven or more. So it's okay, and so is Archon. Something like this would should be good. I'm I'm a little I'm a little high cost here too. I might even put Falcon a Falcon Dive in instead of a commander or something. But those early collectors are so good though. Yeah, I think it's okay to leave the commander in. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards that are early collectors. And they're all blue, so that's actually should be fine. Let me snip. Uh, I'll, I'll snip until this later for the updated deck. Now, I'll show you one other example of a deck with win rates, decent win rates that you can play in ladder and get to God with and maybe even top 10. And I'm thinking that is probably going to be Radial Burn. It could also be Green, green Elf Sack, could also be good. It's so weak against AoE, like red AoE decks, but it's it's pretty good for laddering. The problem with Green Yellow Sack, the biggest problem is it's a, a deck that's really easy to make a lot of mistakes with. Uh, I'll show you the list of it. I'm not going to play with it at the moment, but I'll show you my Green Yellow Sack list. So basically, you've got Village Elder... So, so you can you can miss out on bone collector buffs a lot with this if, if you haven't practiced it enough. Uh, you can also this particular version 
it's good against Shaitan Assassin is really good against like Mono Green for example, but it's a little weak against say Yellow Rush. Uh, also a little weak against AoE. Any Green Yellow Psych deck's pretty weak against AoE. So, but it's it's a good deck. If you can get good at it, then you could probably get to God at least with it. If not top 10 or top 20 uh, and then it's also a really good yellow rush counter just one of the best besides big big taunt green creatures any deck that has all these little tokens that can block face is really good against yellow rush so the last deck that's i think so i'd say yellow rush is most consistent in ladder blue red control is consistent enough to get you to god but with a lot of people playing really fast rush decks lately, it's not really going to be that easy. Uh, by the way, I'm trying, I'm trying to get Yellow Rush more popular so that they they nerf it because I think it really should be nerfed. Being being rewarded for having no skill in a game uh, and not having the highest win rate with a deck that takes no skill is a little bit it's a little bit lame in my opinion. So anyway, so Red Yellow Burn. We can play one game. We'll look. We'll look for a game here. I'll switch my list a little bit. This is not quite the Radial Burn deck that I'd want to play with. The one I would want to play with would have Flash Salmons. But in order to play in the monthly cup, the way that with the decks I want, I have to use Flash Salmons in a different deck and Radial Burn with this one. So here's the list that I'm using at the moment. It's a little bit strange. There's some. There's some one ofs and two ofs and. Uh, I think it's I think it's pretty balanced though. It's also this particular version is a little better against uh, a yellow rush deck, for example, or any rush deck because there's only two scourge flames instead of three. If you have three and you and you draw like two two of them early or th even all three of them early, then you're just screwed because they take so many so much ferry and so much land requirement. So uh, th we have no land ramp. So it's really important to have a little more consistency in terms of laddering with this deck. If you could put three in if you knew what deck you're fighting against and knew it was a slow deck, like say in a tournament, but I think in general, uh, two is is better. So this, so pretty much with mulliganing in this, unless you get a really good hand with Kalim's training, like a, that you don't particularly want, you want to try and get a, a mono red hand and a, a mono red hand with lots of creatures. So this is a pretty good hand. We're gonna probably Shadim Brute first, and then Ground Shaker the next turn, so we get more value on whatever we're targeting, or what, what everything that we hit with Ground Shaker. The reason this deck is so consistent is because uh, as, long, as long as they don't have Life Steal or some really fast deck that can kill you before you kill them. You're usually gonna win with this deck, even though it's a really cheesy way to win. It's uh, it's it's a, it's a pretty consistent deck here. <clears throat> Regular burn is, has uh, that's what got me to top ten last month, a couple months ago. Got me to top 10 for that was was playing a version of this deck with Flash Simmons and when Flash Wind was only two desert costs. So I kind of built this a similar deck around uh, sort of the same principle, but without the Flash Simmons. The Flash Simmons were really good at getting that extra damage in the face at the end, but so we can move this guy up to threaten. And then Ground Shaker behind, we have a, more Ground Shaker targets. Next turn we can even Ground Shaker again. If, if, if this Willow doesn't taunt us, we can collect with the Brute. And Ground Shaker again, we'll get 5 Fairy if we collect with the, with the Brute. And we can Ground Shaker again to kill the Rakoan. Um, I'm a little worried here that he's going to play a land here in Salamander and buff both his guys. But it wouldn't be too terrible if it, it looks like he's playing a Salamander deck. Uh, based on what he's played. It wouldn't be too terrible though. 
if he did that. Yeah, I couldn't kill his his Rakoan with the Ground Shaker, but uh, I can still Cypher Wrath the Wood Ellie this way. I could also draw a Flame Burst and kill both of his creatures after he buffs. Yeah, it looks like he's Emeralding there, which I expected. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty decent. So what we can do here uh, is we can play Desert here and move over Kaleem training the Ground Shaker and kill the Wood Ellie. We could actually, actually we could make a Desert here because we're going to collect with the Ground Shaker. So we're going to make a Desert here. It's also a good Desert for a Scourge Flame later. Kill him. Kaleem training the uh, Ground Shaker. Kill him, collect, and then play Captain behind to collect. So he's going to be able to trade the Emerald in, or if he has another Emerald, he kills. He kills our Ground Shaker, which is a little bit unfortunate if he does. But um, at least the Brute is still alive if he plays another Emerald. Okay, well that I didn't expect a Firestorm in this deck at all. But I guess it makes it's a good card to put in. It makes sense. So we can Cypher Wrath the left guy. In fact, we could have Cypher Wrath the last turn, couldn't we? I just didn't, I wasn't paying attention to it. Okay. Well. Early morning bad fairy plays for the win. Hashtag early morning bad fairy plays. So we can make a collector on the left here. And we don't want to move this up because he'll just, you know, buff his guy and kill it probably. Or play a bomb slinger. He probably doesn't have a bomb slinger, but he probably has a buff in his hand. If if, an, if uh, another salamander or uh, some elderwood embrace or something. Looks like he's also building enough lands to play crackthorn, which he could also run. So we can make one last desert here. Uh, the problem is I can't collect and also go up here and hit this guy with the fanatic. I guess we could also double land and go up for the go for the double collect later on, and then make the last desert later. That seems fine. Uh, double land here and here, and then fanatic this guy up and we'll get a gift of steel draw here and we got it so uh, we might want to pre-gift the cap 10 here so it doesn't die to a 2 damage buff or a 2 damage um, anything here I'm guessing he has another salamander and he plays it and kills everything pretty much Another AoE spell, awesome. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is bad. We're in bad shape now. But... We're gonna Gift and bring it next turn. Well, it depends which side he goes to. We want to stop, uh, stop a land by our face here. He's probably going to collect with the Garadon, though. This is a little bit difficult of a spot. To have been Firestormed early and then Garadoned against any deck is, is really kind of brutal. But I wouldn't expect this Salamander deck to have so many AoE spells. It's just a little bit strange. I haven't seen this version of this deck before.
Maybe I could go aggressive with the brigand, like play it here, like double in, and then maybe try and make a mountain here. Something like this. Like I should, he's, yeah. He's, okay. Well, now he can't reach my brigand with the gift on it, so I could, I could potentially race him here. Especially if I could draw another flame burst or something for the uh, to kill the to clear the guard on. If I top deck a flame burst, I can hit with the with the brigand and then plus one and then have six fairy to double flame burst it. It's possible. You might buff it though. Wow, Azure Skywell in the sec too. I just really I this is he's playing a very non-standard deck. I've never seen anything like this deck. <coughs> It seems really weak to uh, to my blue red control probably with its AOE and uh, and Frogifies. It's also probably weak to a green rush. A little less weak to yellow rush, but still weak to yellow rush. Um, yeah, I lose. <laughs> it's it's funny. I'm doing this fairy video, and I think I lost all three of the games that I'm saying are the most consistent decks, but sometimes you just get matched against decks that are really good against your deck and there's nothing you can do about it. Mono green is decent, uh, decent consistency, but it's, it's pretty weak to certain, <coughs> like this particular mono green is, is pretty weak. This is good. This particular monogreen is good against Yellow Rush because I have three Grove Guardians, right? But other than that, it's slow, so it's weak to like big combo decks like Tortoise and uh, Gym Shell Tortoise decks and uh, other other combo decks like a combo Skyak deck or combo uh, combo Skyak or Rose Creation or like uh, it's even weak to just straight up Frog Tosser Sky Whale decks. And you can't even crystal flower a, a sky whale either. It's a little bit slow and and doesn't take a whole lot of skill to play mono green, so I, I don't really like playing it too much. There's some other decks. Uh, I, I don't think I can remember all the all the other versions of decks, the other meta decks that there are. But let's see if I can remember even one. How about? Uh, there's a, there's a blue jump with buff stack that's pretty quick and, and it's almost like rush, but not quite. It's got mystic beasts and stuff. That's actually pretty consistent as well, but it's not quite as insist consistent as yellow, yellow rush. <coughs> Green rush is consistent. Again, not quite as insistent, consistent as yellow rush. It's weak to hard, hard removal with the big buff creatures. Uh, yeah. I'd say so. I'd say if you were trying to to rank up in ladder to God rank, uh, you could get there with Yellow Rush, uh, Red Yellow Burn, uh, or Blue Red Control. And also, you could also get there with the standard Yellow Event Meta deck, which I'll put up on the on the screen. But it's it's a little bit It's it's not uh, it's not great anymore since they nerfed Flashwind and also Windstorm Charger. <coughs> but this is a really solid deck even even with the nerf Charger, because you've got the two last nightmares for hard removal. Uh, you've got one Choking Sand for another hard removal, especially for low power taunts, and you've got Windstorm, uh, Colossus, you, it's just, you just basically just need to play three deserts and then draw every turn after that and you can usually kill them at that point. <laughs> you might play a port fourth desert by their orb if you get a chance, but pretty much you just keep drawing and playing cards. So it's, it's pretty damn consistent, even with the more expensive Windstorm Charger. You don't see people playing it a lot lately because of the more expensive Charger, but, uh, <clears throat> it's more consistent. So... That's my uh, first video for, for YouTube on uh, what are the most consistent high win rate decks to ladder up with. And just 
quickly before I before I end the the video. I think so. Those those three decks, those four decks, maybe even five decks if you consider Green Yellow Sack too. So Blue Red Control, uh, Green Yellow Sack, Yellow Rush, Red Yellow Burn, and Yellow Event are all really good for getting to God. <coughs> for getting to top ten, you need a really consistent deck, and you need to also be really good at that deck. So I had a I had a I had a Red Yellow Burn deck with Flash Salmons that I was really consistent with. Just choose whatever you're most consistent, whatever you're best with. But in terms of like, if you were amazing at all the decks, I'd still think I'd still say Yellow Rush is most consistent, unless like almost everyone just starts playing with big taunts or or Green Yellow Sack. Second most consistent, I would say, would be Red Yellow Burn to get to top ten, because not that many people play with Life Gain uh, or decks that are faster at winning than Red Yellow Burn, like, say, Green Yellow, uh, Green, Green Rush or something. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, have a great time in Fairy, I guess. Alright, bye. <clears throat> so, hey guys, this is, I'm not responding to chat.